Spotlight, presented by Community Health Network. Welcome back. Hemophilia was once considered a death sentence. There were only treatments to stop the bleeding, but now researchers are on the verge of having a cure. Yeah, in today's Health Spotlight, we uncover how gene therapies hold even more promise of curing this disease. They look alike. Their baby pictures are identical. They act nothing alike. The Ward brothers may have different interests, but Jadon and Rowan have more in common than you can see. Hemophilia is uh, when you have a lot of bleeding. My blood doesn't clot like, like the average human. Both were born with hemophilia. Definitely a bleed is uh, the biggest threat to them. When I started 50 years ago, most of the patients with hemophilia had some kind of deformity or disability. You know, some were in wheelchairs, some were, wore braces, some were in crutches. Regina Butler has treated five generations of Melody's family, including her father, uncle, and now her sons, who take shots every few weeks to prevent bleeding. The treatment has evolved so rapidly that we kept getting better and better products. Now a new gene therapy has been approved by the FDA for hemophilia B through a one-time IV infusion. Hemgenix instructs the body to create functional factor 9 genes that will help the blood to clot. It's remarkable to me. I feel like I've come full circle in my career with hemophilia. Hemgenix can only be administered once, but its impact can last for years, making the injections the Ward boys take obsolete. I didn't think that there would be a time where I would say there was a cure for hemophilia. I'm Brittany Noble, reporting for Wish TV. WishTV.com and like us on Facebook. Mm, well, that treatment is currently approved for patients 18 years and older, but doctors, they hope that in the future to be able to treat kids as young as 12. The most common reactions associated with the injection include liver enzyme elevations, headaches, and flu-like symptoms.